And when we think back to um, you know, the rationale for the European market infrastructure uh, regulation, um, you know, having its origins from, you know, really from the financial crisis, the Pittsburgh summit, the, um, the issues uh, that came out of that, the recognition that, um, need, that uh, authorities needed better tools uh, to, to understand financial stability, needed uh, more transparency from the industry, how to, you know, and then how to do that. Um, and, uh, you know, a number of different approaches to, to doing that. The EMIR kind of emerging out of the, out of the process in Europe in sort of the 2012 time frame. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, within an, an implementation period, I think a recognition that um, some changes need to be considered. Um, so certainly the, the refit proposal, the second, the second part of the day, really focusing on, on those sorts of issues. Um, but this first panel, um, I think addressing some of the really big um, issues that have been more, more recent in their um, uh, development and importance, the thinking around um, third country regime, um, supervision, uh, Euro clearing, uh, all, um, all hugely important, hugely controversial in some ways at this at this point with um, and a lot of talk and debate about uh, what financial stability means and um, and what the impacts of some of the changes might might be so um, I think we've got a, quite an interesting lineup of speakers to address these these issues um, to really help us grapple with them understand a bit more about what's really happening um, and help to uh, to inform the discussions um, the wider discussions that, that need to go on around this. So, um, you know, so I think the bottom line for me is just how, you know, how interesting and, you know, exciting the panel of, of speakers is around this. And I very much look forward to, uh, to hearing the remarks.